Hello. This screencast is going to show you how to FTP files up to the multimedia server using Dreamweaver. Before you begin, there's a few things that you should have in place uh, or know. One is you should know what folder is going to have the files you want to upload. And in Dreamweaver, when we're going to upload files, we make what's called a Dreamweaver site. And a site needs a root folder. The root folder is the folder that contains anything that you might upload for that particular website. So here I'm using this striped umbrella folder. You may want to make a single folder that will hold everything you're going to ever put on the multimedia server so you can know where it is. The other thing that you'll need is your login and password for the multimedia server. And this you can get from your professor if you don't have it already. So let's look at the next step, which is to create a Dreamweaver site. So in Dreamweaver here, I'm going to click on Dreamweaver site. And then in this next panel, instead of going with the basic option that shows up, I'm going to click on Advanced. And I'll give the site a name. And then I'm going to choose as my main folder this local root folder. And that is Striped Umbrella. And if you want, you can also choose a default images folder for your site. Uh, in this case, uh, I'm going to use the assets folder. The next part is to set up your FTP info. And this is where you'll need your, your login and password. So we're in the local info category here on the left. I'm going to click on remote info category. And from there, on, under access, I'm going to choose FTP. Under the host, everyone types the same thing, mmp.bmcc.cuny.edu. And then under login, that's where you type the login and password here that your professor gave you. Mine looks a little different than yours. Yours will have the first initial, the first four letters of your last name and the last four digits of your social security number. The next part is password. And again, this is something you'll get from your professor. And then at this point, just to be sure, you can click on the test button to see if it actually is working. And you should get this message if it's working correctly, that Dreamweaver connected to your web server successfully. If that's true, great. Then you can click OK, and Dreamweaver will set up your site for you. And what you should see then in your files tab on the right is you should see your site with all of the files in it in your what's called local view so those are the files that you have locally in that folder that you indicated as your root folder if you switch to remote view you can see what files are on the server If this is the first time you're doing it you may not see any files here on the server in my case I already have files up there so now, how to upload files to the server? Well, the basic way is you simply select a file here and click the up arrow, and that's put files. And it'll give you this question, do you want to put dependent files? Dependent files are images or cascading style sheet files that are used in your HTML file, and you can either click yes or no. And also, it says it may overwrite um, any files and so forth. Uh, this one is one that I already had there, and that's why it asked me, did I want to overwrite it? If it's not there anymore, you won't get that message. And the same goes. You can actually also select more than one by holding the Shift key down. Uh, so I clicked one full file. I held the Shift key, click some more, and I can upload more than one file, and there it is. And I've uploaded my files to the Internet. Now, the next step is to go on and look at where those files are on the internet. So in order to do that, we're going to need to open up a browser. 